first championship and arena based sports like competition where students of all ages showcase their accomplishments in the fields of science, technology, engineering and math. The world's largest youth serving STEM nonprofit first has introduced more than 3 million young people to these fields through a global robotics community. Joining us live are Gary Foote, Chief Information Officer for Has Formula One Team, and Connor Keach, a Clear Creek ISD student whose team is participating in the competition happening here in Houston. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Zach. How you doing? So far, so good. We're, we're, we're fortunate to have you on the show, so thank you for your time this morning. Connor, I want to start with you. Tell us about your experience in FIRST, what it's like preparing for a competition like this. Uh, the experience I've gained in FIRST has honestly been like invaluable. I've been in the program for three years, and I feel like I've gained so much experience over the three years that I've been in the program. Preparing for the competition, it can get stressful at times, but being in that team environment and working with students that are interested in the, in, the, in the program and in what you're doing, it just makes it so incredible that even the most stressful and even some of the most stressful things just end up being fun and a great way to gain experience and learn. Yeah, what an awesome experience. Gary, what is FIRST and how does the program prepare uh, young people for, for the real world? That's a great question. So um, first is it's a global uh, robotics community at, at the heart of it. Um, so we have students uh, competing across the world um, and it all sort of com comes uh, to head in Houston here for the for the world championship. Um, you know, under the skin, we've, we've, we're, we're creating robots, you know, from ages four right up to ages 18 across a, a number of different uh, engineering disciplines. Um, but under the skin, you know, what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a sport of, um, you know, teamwork and collaboration, really trying to use the program to give young children, young students uh, the opportunity to come together in mm -hmm. a competitive environment um, that, you know, that, that encourages a lot of those life skills that, um, that they'll want to take through into industry. Yeah, we talk, we keep talking about these life skills and these experiences. Connor, what has first taught you about you and yourself, your, your aspirations moving forward? First has taught me how much I enjoy working as a team and working with people that are interested in the same things I'm interested in. Oh, interested in. It's also taught me how much I enjoy mechanical engineering, mm -hmm. how much I enjoy the design process and the struggle to have to come up with something that's never been done before or something that you don't know how to do yet and you need to learn, you need to learn to get to that point. Uh, working with the mentors and people that are in uh, a mechanical engineering industry has really led me to want to be a mechanical engineer and has really led me to, to know and be pretty, pretty focused in on uh, what I want to do in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, when we talk about mechanics and robotics, Gary, I understand there are hundreds of robots uh, at this competition. We also know that FIRST is more than just mechanics and robots. It is, yeah, that's right. So, you know, at the heart of it, we're building robots, we're having fun, um, you know, in, in a competitive environment. But what we're trying to do is, you know, as Connor was mentioning, you know, there's these, the teams are, have a huge array of opportunities for different uh, students to get involved and different ways that they can contribute to their team's success. You know, there's a lot of obviously focus on the mechanical side and the building the robots. And, you know, that's a great element. I definitely don't want to downplay it. Right. But there's so much more to it. You know, the teams are, are expected to finance themselves, they're expected to market market themselves and all of these different skills you know sort of come together and allow different people with different personalities different skill sets to learn all of those um, different ways of, of contributing to their team's success okay Connor the best of luck to you uh, thank you both Connor and Gary for coming on the show this morning we appreciate your time thanks for having us thank you so much